Financial markets are expecting a pause in the Fed's rate hike cycle. The latest data on inflation in the consumer and manufacturing sectors have once again assured investors of a such an outcome. In addition, jobless claims hit a one-and-a-half-year high, pointing to a weakening U.S. labor market and a slowdown in demand. Against this background, the Fed is unlikely to raise rates again. However, the U.S. dollar is not under pressure as expected. On the contrary, the safe haven U.S. currency is strengthening amid signs of a global recession. Meanwhile, investors are concerned about big data from China, where inflation is slowing down. What will drive market sentiment in the first half of the next week? Let's discuss this on the InstaForex TV channel. The markets are waiting for a batch of important macroeconomic data on Tuesday. Market participants will digest the minutes of the Reserve Bank of Australia meeting. At the last meeting, policymakers decided to raise the interest rate by 25 basis points. Although many analysts assumed that the Reserve Bank of Australia would continue to assess the state of the country's economy after a rather long cycle of rate hikes. Such an unexpected move forced investors to buy the Australian dollar. Most likely, buyers of the Australian currency will return to the market after the Reserve Bank of Australia minutes are released. The news from China may become another strong uh, incentive to open new transactions to buy the OC. On a Tuesday, the country's industrial sector is expected. Notably, China is one of Australia's most important trading partners and consumers of Australian commodities. The forecasts are highly positive, with growth expected to accelerate from a modest 3.9% to 10.1% seen before the restrictions in China. Such strong data is bound to boost risk appetite and bring positive sentiment to the market. The European session will also offer a lot of important news. For example, markets are waiting for the data on the state of the UK labour market. According to forecast, the UK is likely to continue to post robust data after the news that the country has avoided a recession again, although the growth of the economy is almost zero, economists predict a decrease in the number of applications for unemployment benefits. Interestingly, the Bank of England, known for its conservative approach, Early expected a deep and prolonged recession. However, after a series of reports with the positive macroeconomic data, the regulator revised its forecast and started to assess the UK economy as stable. And this means that another strong report will continue to make the British pound more attractive to invest in. The economic powerhouse of Europe, Germany, will also be in the spotlight. On Tuesday, ZEF will release the calculation of the economic sentiment index for May. It, uh, in the contrast to the UK, expectations are less upbeat. During the last reporting period, a negative trend was outlined. And uh, in estimating the economic sentiment for May, they already expect the index to fall into the negative zone due to expensive loans, high inflation, errors of the banking crisis in the United States, and um, an unstable geopolitical situation. The euro-dollar pair may fall slightly after this news. In the US session, Statistics Canada may provide investors with some 
optimistic news. Markets expect Canada's CPI to continue to slow down from a 4.3% to 3.9%. In addition, there are signs that the Bank of Canada is at the end of its tightening cycle. The country's economy is recovering from the high price crisis. And the U.S. has a more gloomy situation, notably consumption and retail indicators are one of the most important indicators of the U.S. economy as more than two-thirds of the U.S. GDP is formed by consumer spending. For the last two months, economists observed negative trends. In April, the retail trade is likely to return to the expansionary zone, which is likely to strengthen the risk appetite in the market. The news about the resumption of a growth in the Japanese economy can make investors happy and last year Japan's economy ended with a stagnation. Currently, it's expected to expand by a modest 0.1 percent. This means that annual growth may accelerate to 0.7 percent from a 0.1. And this is likely to give a positive signal for the market and risky currencies. However, the Japanese yen, one of the safe haven currencies, should receive support from a strong data in Japan. How we're going to be in the short term in financial markets, we will definitely tell you in our news releases. Subscribe to our channel and follow news with us. And see you soon.